Hey everyone, today I wanna to go over how to adjust the transmission speed on a Toro snowblower with a friction disc transmission. Now how to identify if you have a friction disc, you're typically going to have indexed individual speeds on the gear selector. If you do not have that indexing, typically that means you have a hydrostatic transmission and those are not adjustable. Now before we get started, one thing I wanna cover real quick, the transmission adjustment is different from the transmission engagement lever. This uses a cable and it basically acts like an on off switch. So if you are engaging that lever and the snowblower is not going forward, typically what's happening is the cable has come out of adjustment. Sometimes they can start to stretch over time and you may need to actually tighten that to get the transmission to engage. So the transmission selector itself uses this drive rod and as you can see from the top it's threaded so you can adjust the speed on there. So this is a question I'm starting to get a lot now that the winter's here. If you are in say first gear and you're finding that the snowblower is going too fast or say you are in top gear and the snowblower is going too slow that is adjustable. So you're only going to need a set of needle nose pliers for this so let's go ahead and get started. All right, to get this off to adjust it, like I said, a set of needle nose pliers. This clip is basically the same clip that is used on a hitch, trailer hitch. And as you can see, it comes off very easily. Now, when you take this off, it has washers on both sides. So if you drop the washers, that's fine. It doesn't really matter which one goes where. Now, when you remove this, like I said, this is threaded on the end. You can put the washers to the side. This being threaded, you can adjust it. When you turn this clockwise like that, it will shorten the rod and it will make the transmission or the each gear go slower. If you turn it counterclockwise, it will make it go faster. So whatever your dilemma may be, if you find it's too fast in first gear, what I recommend doing is put it in first gear and then you're just gonna have to just uh, try adjusting it. This is basically just trial and error depending on how far out of adjustment yours may be. This is really common if you have these delivered to your home directly and you assemble it yourself. Sometimes uh, they can be out of adjustment. That's fairly common. So basically, like I said, clockwise to shorten it, to slow the transmission down, counterclockwise to lengthen and speed the transmission up. One thing to keep in mind, this will change the speed of every single gear. So slowing down first gear will slow down every gear. Speeding up first gear will speed up every gear. So just keep that in mind. Then when you want to put it back together, washer on one side, Put it back through the hole, washer on the other side, take that clip, and just put it back in place. Typically, you can get this in by hand like that. And that is how you adjust the speed of transmission on a Toro snowblower with a friction disc transmission. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.